Today we are going to control different smart devices from different brands on only one app. And for that you just need to download one single folder, put it on your Windows computer and run Home Assistant. So in two minutes you will be able to have a configuration similar to this one which I can control any device from any brand with just one single app. So let's go for it. Now on your computer just go to Google and search for Alex with two X's IT. Then you will see some projects you just need to open the project called SWP which stands for Home Assistant Windows Portable. Navigate to the releases section and download the latest version. Just place the download file or folder which is a zip file wherever you want and then extract it to your computer and you can save this folder in your documents, on your desktop, whatever you want. Just open the folder and run the as file which is as with an H. Now once we run it will open a command window and our browser at the same time will launch Home Assistant's initial setup. We just need to create a username, choose a password and we are ready to go. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. At the beginning it looks like it's difficult but it's not so let's take a closer look at it. Once we start it it immediately shows some integrations that it will detect on our network in case we already have some devices. For example my Android TV boxes were detected which we can even see what's playing on our TV. We can choose what to add and here I will demonstrate with Shelly devices and also Sonoff but Shelly you can see that they will appear automatically. All I need to do is to confirm and then choose a name for easier identification and that is it. It's ready to go and to control that particular Shelly device. If I want to add some Sonoff or other brand devices I just need to select the brand and it will discover devices on my network. In my case it found 10 Sonoff devices. And now I can control Sonoff and Shelly devices all in just one app. But it works with other brands too. In this example I created a simple dashboard with one Shelly plug, one Sonoff plug, ohm energy consumption and solar panel production monitored by Shelly AM and then four lights that I've got here on my office controlled by Sonoff. And all of this can be controlled on any smartphone or tablet. You don't need to stay on your computer. You can see here that I can control plugs from two different brands, these that are here in front of me. I can turn the office lights on or off which I've got four different sets here and I can also monitor energy consumption and solar production all within the app in the order that I want. And of course we can do a lot more. We can create automatization between devices. We have seen a few projects here where with a Shell device or a Sonoff device for example we can turn on based on the temperature and we can turn off based on the temperature as well but within the same brand. What if I want to get the temperature from this to turn on and off this which is from different brands? This is really really cool. We can use Home Assistant in different ways but this way that we just seen is the fastest and easiest way that I know at this moment. Now for those of you that will be using there are three things that we need to pay attention. First of all we will need to keep our PC running 24-7 in case we want to use this Home Assistant installation. Second note is that on that command window that opens we must leave it open. We can minimize on our computer but we can't close it. And if you can't find the Home Assistant server IP you just need to know the IP of your PC. Now you can go to the Wi-Fi or your Ethernet connection info and then you will find your IP there. You just need to copy and put it on your browser. If you are going to use on the app then forget about IPs because once you install the app on Android or iOS it will discover automatically on your network. Now for those that already follow the channel we have done quite a few projects and you know that this is not my favorite way of using Home Assistant but for those that have never tried Home Assistant in my opinion this is the easiest way at least to try out and see that we can do a lot. And once we understand a little bit better how Home Assistant 
works, then probably we will decide on a dedicated computer like I do have and we will do a lot more complex projects as we have done here in the past. I will leave some links down below. But at this moment, I'm updating some of the devices that I use here. I will be adding some others for some projects. So if this is a topic that you enjoy, consider subscribing to the channel so that you can see my future videos about this and probably get some ideas to implement on your smart home. That being said, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.